guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to resolve an issue of date when you connect your google calendar into app sheet so i will show you some sample errors that you may encounter uh, while integrating your google calendar into app sheet so for example i'm going to use directly the google calendar so i'm going to create an event so right now here i have only one example here so let's say i'm going to create an event let's say i'm going to place this on let's say march 1st this is 2025 and let's keep the day, uh, the time the same and once i save so it should be march march 1 right march 1 2025 okay that's the title of the event and once i save okay in the calendar in the calendar it's showing here that i have an event here on march 1 and then going to the app sheet let's refresh the app and as you can see here the title is march 1 but the start is on january 3rd 2025 so it's like uh, so the instead of the month is 3 it goes to the day you know so let's add another example let's say Another example, let's create another event, let's say on March, uh, let's say March 2. Okay, so this should be saved as March 2, 2025. Once I save, and as you can see, I have an event here on March 2, 2025 on my Google Calendar. Going to the App Sheet app, it saves as February 3. 2025 which is the start date if we are also going to add it in app sheet let's say start date will be i'm going to use uh let's say march 4 okay march 4 the start date and then it should be march 4 uh let's add directly an event to app sheet and save okay so I added March 4. As you can see, it's March 4. And suddenly, the start date changed into April 3. So if you're facing this issue, I will show you how to resolve easily this kind of problem with Google Calendar integration. Okay? So let's go to the uh, AppSheet app. So in the AppSheet app, uh, if you already connected the calendar, for those who don't know how to connect the Google Calendar, all you have to do is just click this add new data then down here select the google calendar since i or i already connected this if if you cannot see a google calendar here you can just click new source and then select the google calendar here okay so now let's go back to the solutions all right so in the solution all you have to do is that uh second All you have to do is that go to the uh, table of the calendar. Then here, all you have to do is that we need to find the local settings of this. So there is a local settings of this. As you can see here, if you are using this new view of app sheet, this is the settings. You can click the settings. If you are using the old view, you can just click this and it returns to the old view and then you can just go to the table, primary, localization, and you can see the localization here. If you're using the new, the new view of app sheet, so it's just here to the primary table and select the settings. So go to the lo localization. Uh, make sure the localization you are using is in US. Because if you use any of this localization, you might face this issue. So let's try to change this into US. Uh, English, English, US. So this is the one. English, United States, and then save. Okay. All right. So now um, let's refresh the app. I'm going to add an event in the uh, calendar directly. So let's say I'm going to create an event, and let's say I'm going to create an event of March. March 8 okay so this should be saved as March 8 March 08 2025 and then save 
So as you can see, I have an event on uh, for March 8 here. Let's check the app sheet. So we have the title March 8, and it's saved here as August. Still saved as August 3. All right, as you can see, still we have an issue. Let's try to uh, test again, or maybe this is a different app. Let me just save it and see. Okay, so now it's completely synced. Let's try to add first in app sheet, okay? So I'm going to add here should be March 9, 2025. So I'm going to select March 9 and that's it and save. So I have an event on March 9 and it's showing here March 9 as well. So it never changed now. So it's going to be a correct date. And now let's try again adding it in the calendar, directly from the calendar. All right. An event. So the event will be March 7, for example. So I'm going to change this date into March 7. So the date will be on March 7, the event. Save. And let's see if it's fixed the issue. So we have an event name or title name of March 7. And you can, as you can see, it's March 7 as well here. So if you are uh, if you are using the local settings for the date issue, so you can also add if virtual column if you wanted to say, let's say this is the start start date virtual for example. If you're going to format the date, you can use a virtual column. Let's say here you can use text expression text start date so start so what will be depends of the format you like let's say you wanted to place the date or the day first so you can just use this dd meaning it's a two digit so dd uh, let's say month if you want to keep this as a number so you can just uh, put 2M, if you want to keep it as a text, I mean, for example, January, it's J-E-N. So you, you use this, and then year. Okay, so this is how you will, uh, you will do it, and then you can close this expression by, by doing that, and save. So, okay, so this will be, for example, you wanted to view this in the virtual column instead of, instead of this to start, so you can just change this and then add that virtual column you created and then you can remove the start and as you can see it goes like that okay so that's how to solve the issue of the Google Calendar uh, regarding the data as you can see here you can use the text expression to convert the date okay so if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.